So do you really need solar to boondock? Well, we're going to talk about that and we're going to show you what our setup is in this video and how we've been using this for the last four years and how nice it is. Here is my inverter. Now, inverter is taking the 12 volts and making it 120 volts and so that's what my tv runs on that's what my uh, microwave runs on okay all those kinds of things so the inverter here pulls all the power from the batteries and this particular inverter puts out 3000 watts so by having a 3000 watt inverter it allows us to run our microwave we can run our fireplace now we're not running all these things at the same time my rig is rated at as a 30 amp rig and so I have this wired directly into my rig um, through an automatic transfer box. So this uh, changes it so that the only time that the charger is being used is if it's actually plugged into a pedestal or plugged into my generator. So my rig doesn't know whether it's plugged into a power pole or it's plugged into my inverter. It looks the same. Uh, the power pole can give me more amperage than what the, the inverter can give me. But other than that, the rig doesn't know any different. As you can see here, I have my panels set up on my roof. Um, I have them flat mounted, but I also have the capability of tilting them. And I can tilt them either uh, to the right side of the rig or to the left side of the rig, depending on where the sun is. Well, well I tell you, things get a little complicated when you try to break that all out. And uh, I'm sure I probably generated more questions than answers here, but that's kind of a just a layout of what we have. 